Okay, today we're going to be using idle and we're going to be using the interactive shell. We're going to be looking at loops or repeats. And if you've used Blockly or any of the code.org or uh, Scratch type programs, you'll be aware that um, within those you kind of get a nested loop where you can see all of it kind of clicked within one section. Now this doesn't work quite the same way, but it's similar. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a while loop. There are other types. Now to make a while loop, the first thing we want to do is we want to make a variable. So for this one, I would imagine I'm in an old Victorian school. I've been asked to write out 50 times that I will not write lines in my history lesson. So I'm going to say the lines equals zero to start with. Then we need to write uh, our loops. We're going to say while, spelling it correctly, lines is less than 50. So at the moment, lines is zero. So it's less than 50, so it will run. We're going to say print. I will not write lines of code in my history lessons. But obviously, this could be anything. Now, that will keep running. So if I run it now, it just run and run and run and run and run. But I want it to end eventually. So the way we do this is this original variable, lines, if we say that lines is equal to lines, so 0 is equal to 0, plus 1. It means the first time it runs this, 0 will change to 1 at the end, and then lines will now be worth 1. So the second time it runs it, 1 plus 1 makes it 2. And if I run it now, press enter twice, you should see that we get 50 lines of code, but I'm not going to count it to check it. Okay, if I want to take the code I had before with the lines, but I want to see the output to see what's happening, we can make a couple of quick changes. Now, because I'm using the interactive window, I'm going to have to type it again. So we're going to say lines is still equal to zero. We're going to produce another while loop. So we're going to say while lines is less than 50. And the um, colon here tells us we're entering all the code that goes under this. We're going to say the same thing. So print, I will not write lines of code in my history of lessons. Now, we want the same thing to happen, but what I want to say here is I also want to print, just to show you what's happening, lines. And then we're going to do lines equals lines plus one. Now, Printing lines should mean the first time it runs it prints 0, the second time it prints it should print 1, and you should see the number increasing each time it runs, just showing you how this uh, while loop is actually working. So we'll press enter twice again to run it. You'll see the actual um, code is the same, but the count goes all the way up to 49. It stops at 49 because we said it had to be less than 50. And this is a basic um, loop that we can use quite a lot and we'll be using an awful lot in the next section.